What's up mamas? My name is Tu Hien and I am the founder and CEO of Bojen. And today we are gonna talk about how to balance breast milk while introducing foods and solids to your baby. There are lots of information out there. So in this video, our goal is to distill a lot of the noise and the information that you might be getting, informing and arming you with what you need so that you can go to your pediatrician for advice as well. So first, we're gonna talk about when is it a good time to introduce solids to your baby. And usually it's recommended between four and six months when your baby can sit up by um, itself, be able to hold its head and upright, that you can introduce simple, solid foods to your baby. Of course, throughout this process, we always recommend that you consult your pediatrician and make sure that it's okay to start to introduce different types of foods to your baby. They can also give you some tips on how to get started that's more customized for your baby's needs. So during this period, breast milk or formula milk is still the main source of nutrition. So what you can do is to bottle feed or nurse first so that your baby gets the, nu the nutrition that baby needs and then begin to offer the different types of solid foods and keeping it simple like fruits, vegetables, like uh, sweet potatoes and yams, peas um, that are, you know, pureed or smushed so it's easier for baby without teeth to eat. And uh, it's just about offering the food to the babies and letting them experiment with the colors and textures and see what it tastes like. So it's not that they are solely dependent on this food for nutrition, but just to, as a supplement to what they've already had from the milk provided. There are also some research that introducing solids during this time between four and six months and introducing early could reduce food sensitivity and food allergies in the future. So of course, when you're introducing these simple foods, fruits, vegetables, um, boiling, steaming, pureeing them, making it really easy, soft and gentle for the baby to eat and experiment with, especially this is the first time that they are experiencing foods other than milk. During this period, it might be possible that baby has a nursing strike and that's okay. In this case, just offer uh, baby milk, whether it's formula or breast milk, in a sippy cup or bottle with the solid foods that you are introducing. That way you let the baby decide if they want to eat solids, let them eat solids. If they're thirsty and they want milk, they have the option to use the bottle, sippy cup, to get their milk as well. Obviously the goal is to have a full and happy baby. So how they get that nutrition, you can kind of let it let them decide what works for them as well and of course if you're ever concerned you can also consult with your pediatrician on how to overcome the nursing strikes or perhaps this is a part of the national transition from weaning and during this time if you're finding that baby's still going baby's still refusing nursing to keep pumping and that that way you can keep up your supply if you are breastfeeding and that you'll have it ready to provide in a bottle for your baby. So what if the baby doesn't have interest in solid foods? Well, every baby is unique and that is totally okay too. Some babies may really love the solid foods and take to it quickly while some might just prefer mother's milk or formula. The key is to really keep offering the solid foods as an option and just let them slowly get used to uh, the foods and, and slowly incorporating it into their diet as well. When they are ready, they will be ready. So there's really no rush. It's just giving them the option so that they know they can choose both the solids, the milk, or both. 
So I hope this video was helpful for you to give you mamas some insight into how to balance um, breast milk and milk with introducing solids. If you have any questions for us, feel free to email our mommy care team and don't forget to leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of this video and what other topics you want to hear next. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it with your new mama friends who would find this video and this information helpful. And we will catch you on the next video. Thanks, bye.